Hey guys, so I'm just about to do my current everyday makeup look, which is basically what I've been doing before I go and shoot or before I have like a meeting on and I don't want to do a full face of makeup, but I want to have a little something. So I thought I would just show you guys um, that. So I'm going to start with my shape tape and I'm using the shade Tan Deep Sand and I basically just put that on my forehead because I've got a few spots at the moment under my eyes I think my dermatitis is coming back in there which is not fun so we'll just cover that up um, around my mouth and in my nose there so this is pretty much the only face coverage that I put on at the moment I'm not using any foundation or anything because I find that when I use foundation whilst I have a tan um, it kind of doesn't really sit on my skin it tends to like I don't know it feels like there's a layer of paste kind of sitting on my skin so I just use a little bit of concealer to kind of get all those patchy bits and that's just all that I'm doing at the moment and I'm supposed to like pat with this but I kind of have like a Pat and rub technique. <laughs> so that's nice and easy, pretty much done. So that's all it is, just a bit of concealer. I don't really like covering my whole face anyway, just because I think like the more natural the better, if possible. So this is how we're rolling at the moment. Definitely got a few spots coming out. I think I might need to go see a dermatologist again. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit more on just to layer over those bits that are a little bit more red than the others. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm just gonna go, oh, dropped my beauty blender. It's rolling all over the bathroom floor. I'm never gonna use that again. So now I'm using my bronzer. I'm using at the moment Becca Bronzed Bondi. I just take that and I put that on my cheeks, on my forehead. Just like when the sun would shine, you know, if it was shining in here right now. Okay, just bronze that right up, don't we? Great. Alrighty, and when that's done, I grab my NARS Orgasm blush and I use the same brush. Everyone probably hates me for this. <laughs> and pop that on my cheeks. Um... Once I'm done with that, I grab, this is I think an eyeshadow, Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Memorize. Des Paul Hypnosurgeon. So I just grab this and I just tap my finger in the tiniest little bit because it's quite pigmented. And I use that as a highlighter and just kind of put it over, see like look at that, that's crazy. Um, put that over all those little bits that I like to highlight. Oh, maybe I should do like a, a Daz and Shaz makeup tutorial next. I actually, that's a great idea, I'm gonna do that. Now I'm gonna do my brows. Um, so I'm using this pencil at the moment from No Name, great. Um, with a little spoolie on the end. So I'm just gonna brush those bad boys up. I don't go right up because my eyebrows are quite thick. So I can't really do that cute fluffy eyebrow look. They just kind of have to be like defined, so. And then I use this other side, which is the pencil, which I don't actually really like that much. I'm just like so lazy that I am not bothered to change what's in this bag, so. <laughs> I should really go through it and just kind of get rid of the products that I'm not loving because I've got so much stuff just sitting around waiting to be used. Alright, so I just fill in the top there. Now we have more of a shape to the brow. Bring the pencil down just to give a little bit more darkness to the brow at the bottom. And sometimes I even bring it in here a bit more shape but not too much because they're already quite dark so if we go a bit too much I'm going to end up looking a bit like Borat yes so that's all I do and then I get the spoolie again and just brush it out so that it looks a bit more natural that is the 
look of a professional. It's not really, it's actually looking real patchy. Good enough. Great, so next time I'm gonna do my lashes, I'm gonna curl them with this curl that I need to replace. And at the moment I'm using the Marc Jacobs mascara. And this is called Noir Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara Mascara. They wrote mascara twice. Curl me lashes, see? And then I just, bit of this, bit of that. And I pop it on the bottom as well. I know a lot of people don't do that for some reason, but I do. So now I'm gonna curl the other side. These things scare me so much. I always pinch myself and like pull 10 lashes out. I don't know why we do this to ourselves. So that's done. Now I'm gonna go get the lippy that I, that's my boob. Now I'm gonna go get my lipstick. Okay. And for my final act, and for my final act, I'm going to be applying two lipsticks. Crazy. So I'm gonna use, I use MAC lipsticks pretty much always, but um, I've been using Whirl at the moment, which is a little bit darker. I love this color. And I kind of use it as a lip liner. I'm gonna pop that around like the edge of my lips. Okay, and then, so I've got the whirl on and then I go over the top with Cherish. And that's my like 90s lipstick look. And we're done. I'll show you my face properly, hang on. Okay, so this is the finished look. Super simple, I haven't used powder or anything. I haven't used any foundation. It's just the concealer, the blush, the bronzer, that eyeshadow that I put everywhere. <laughs> A um, little bit of eyebrow stuff, pencil, and then, wow, I should never do beauty videos. Um, and then the two lipsticks at the end. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you soon.